Hey guys, it's Sam here, and today I just wanted to film a little haul, I guess. Um, the Kmart in Western Pennsylvania are closing, so it's everything in the store must go. Everything was pretty picked over in the store that I went to because they're closing very soon. But I did look up online and it has a list of other locations. So if you're in the Western Pennsylvania region, I would definitely look online and see if there's a store near you. I was even thinking of like getting my girlfriend and finding one maybe like 45 minutes to an hour away and like make a girl's day of it, get some lunch and then go see if they have anything. But if I did that and was going to drive, you know, a decent amount, um, I would definitely call first and just see, you know, do they have anything left in the beauty section. Uh, the one I went to, they had a lot of foundations, powders, blushes, but not a lot of, like, eyeliner, eyeshadow. So it was more like face stuff that they had left, which I loved because foundation is usually the most expensive thing at the drugstore. So I'm going to show you what I got. And I did get these things a couple of days ago, so I had some time to try them out. So it's going to be kind of like a first impression plus haul. So let's just get right into it. Okay, so I'm going to do the clothes I got first. I didn't get a ton of clothes, but I just love workout clothes, and I feel like they're so expensive, and I don't really want to spend a lot uh, on clothes that I'm going to like get sweaty in. So when I saw their sports bras and like sports pants, I was like, yes, because everything was like 40 to 70 percent off. So like these little bras I got, uh, I think were like three to five dollars each. So first I got this little white sports bra and it does have like little pads in it. Not too padded, but just just to like so your nipples kind of don't pop out. I know that sounds weird, but just that like padding so nothing pops out. Um, or you can't see like the outline of it, but yeah, so this is just like the Everlast brand, which these, the original price on this was $35 and I got it for, I think like $4.99. So that was really good. And I got one of these in black that I actually wore to the gym. So it's in the laundry, but I got this one in white and black. And then I got a little pair. These are like Capri leggings. These were like six bucks. I'm not sure like what, oh, these are Everlast too, actually. So those little guys. And then I got another pair of these that I wore to the gym, but they were just like this, except they were like skinny leggings. They're like leggings, like kind of like they go to a pencil around your ankle. These ones kind of like flare out. So the other ones were more like straight leg, leg, leg straight leg leggings. And they had like a blue seam and like blue little lines like stitched across the legs. So that was the other pair. Both of them were like six bucks. So I got two pair of leggings, those two sports bras, and then this is the last bra I got. And just has like pink trim and then this is like mesh. I don't know if you can see. It's like mesh in the back. And this brand is called Athletech. This bra was only $3, I believe. And this one, again, has, like, the little padded things in, in it. So that's really nice. But, yeah, so the two leggings and two other bras were, were all the Everlast brand, which is kind of awesome because that brand's expensive. Like, at Dick's or um, what's another, like, sporting store? Well, really, anywhere you can get, like, even Marshall's, you're going to pay more than $3 for a bra, so... That was pretty cool. Um, and they for the clothes, a lot of the sizes, they had really small and really large. So if you're really small, you'll probably be able to find something. And if you're like large and extra large, you'll probably be able to find something. I think the middle sizes are what goes first because those like average people are like the middle sizes. So, okay, moving on to makeup, my favorite. So I got this Rimmel. All these foundations that I got were $5.99. And then the concealers I got were, the two were eight and one was five. So, not too bad. I was surprised the foundations were cheaper than the concealers, but yeah. So this one was $5.99. Um, it's by Rimmel and it's called Match Perfection. 
And I really thought that I would like this one because I love the Match Perfection Concealer. It's my favorite drugstore concealer. And I got this in the color 250 Classic Beige. And this one is actually a little darker than my skin right now, but I feel like it's almost summer, so it was kind of the perfect time to get those darker shades, especially because they were only $5. So if I'm not using them right now, that's not going to bother me. So that was the Match Perfection. I actually have this one on right now, and I really, really like it. It's more of a light coverage, and it has sunscreen in it too. And actually on the instructions on the back, it... The instructions are based on using it as a sunscreen, so I'm assuming it's going to be really good in the sun or if you go to the pool and want a little bit of coverage in with your sunscreen, this one I think will be really good. It's really, really light and not super full coverage. I'd say it's like light to medium. The next one is the Rimmel Lasting Finish 25 Hour Comfort Serum. And this one is full coverage. Try to hold up a little more. And let's see. I got it in the color 100 Ivory. This one matches me pretty good right now. So I've been using this one a lot. And it says full coverage foundation enriched with a comfort serum. Instant perfect coverage that lasts all day. Sweat, heat, humidity, humidity, and transfer proof for up to 25 hours. I did kind of test that. I didn't go like, you know, count hour by hour, did it last 25 hours, but I put it on in the morning, wore it all day, went to the gym, and it was so hot at my gym. I was sweating my butt off, and when I left, my foundation and my makeup looked perfect. So I would definitely say this is a great summer foundation if you're looking for a full coverage foundation that's going to hold up in the heat. I would definitely try this one, and it's super full coverage. I'm actually really, really happy with it. And these two both smell really nice, too. Last foundation I got is the Rimmel Stay Matte. I didn't even realize that I got all Rimmel stuff. I was just kind of like grabbing. I literally grabbed any foundation that was looked like my color and threw it in my cart real fast. And then I kind of like went through them. And these ones were that had the most that would match my skin tone. But um, so the Rimmel Stay Matte, is, I heard a lot about this one. So I'm excited about this one. I got it in 203 True Beige. This one is the darkest one that I got, so I haven't tried this one yet. I think I need a little more of a tan before I try this one. But it says, Feather Light Liquid Mousse Blends Flawlessly for Natural Looking All Day Shine Control. Silky Smooth Formula Leaves a Perfectly Matte Baby Soft Finish. Lightweight Texture Won't Feel Heavy or Greasy. Doesn't really say if this is supposed to be full coverage or medium or light it doesn't really say but I did test it on my hand and I'd probably say it's like medium coverage but I'm excited to try this one that's the only one I didn't get to try moving on to concealers so of course I had to get my favorite uh, the Rimmel Match Perfection and the color that I use is 225 like that I use under my eyes this one is in 335 uh, light medium and I actually got this because I was kind of thinking of those LA girl concealers that everyone's been using to contour and recently I saw some reviews saying that they looked gritty under the eye like almost like sand was in the concealer like it looked gritty so a lot of people were kind of saying maybe these aren't the best to use for contouring so I thought um why don't I try these since I really like the light colored one under my eye. I got this darker one to try in my cheeks and around my forehead, on my nose. And I have this on as my contour today with a little bit of Hola bronzer over it. And I really, really like it. I'm going to just move in a little so you can see my contour a little bit, hopefully. I didn't go too heavy on it because I was just kind of like running errands today, but I really like it so far. So I've been, I've been using it to contour for probably like the past three days and I've been loving it. So 
If you're looking for a cream drugstore contour, try out the Rimmel, Rimmel Match Perfection. All right. Uh, this is actually a repurchase. I've probably bought like six of these. This is the Maybelline Dream Lumi. When I first got this, I was using it as like a concealer because it says it's a highlighting concealer. But now that I've bought it like five or six times, I just use this to highlight. So I'll use my regular concealer and then put this over top of it because it's not really full coverage enough to be by itself for me at least if you want some like a light concealer that's going to bring light under the eyes but not be full coverage this is the one for you it's a really great formula i like to use it with another concealer but if you want something that's not too full coverage then you'll love this i got it in the lightest shade i could find they literally only had three of these left i think this one's an ivory Yep, ivory. And that's the color I've gotten before, so I was actually lucky they had my shade. It wasn't even, like, in the box. It was literally on the shelf with, like, a yellow sticker on it, and I grabbed that up so fast. <laughs> so, yeah, this is definitely one of my favorites, and I'm almost out of my other one, so I'm glad I found that. Last but not least, I got the Maybelline Master Conceal. I saw a lot of reviews on this concealer and everyone was loving it and now I know why. I got mine in the shade 30 light medium. That was the only shade they had. I personally would like it a little bit lighter but what if I put this down and then this guy on top it is perfect. This is a great full coverage concealer. Very creamy. I don't want to compare it to like NARS Creamy Concealer because people get so offended when anyone compares a drugstore product to the NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer because it is really, really good, but it's really, really pricey. But if you're looking for a really, really good full coverage concealer from the drugstore, this guy is awesome. Between the Rimmel Match Perfection and the Master Conceal, I would go with this one if you want something a little more full coverage, if you want something medium, like I'd like to do more of a medium coverage on an everyday basis, and I love the Rimmel Match. But both of these blend like a dream. I'm so glad I found this one. I've been using this one, so I wasn't surprised that this was good, but I'm so glad I found this one. And I think this one was seven bucks on sale. So that was all the makeup I got. Um, I really, really, really wanted to get more, but I did kind of limit myself. In total, I only spent $60, so I got three foundations, three concealers, three sports bras, two pairs of leggings, and I also got two packs of socks that I didn't show because they're boring. They're just little socks. So, yeah, I got a lot for $60. I think it was like $65 or $66, but I feel like that's a really a bang for your buck. And if you're looking to do a little bargain shopping and you're in the western Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania area, definitely look up the list of closing Kmarts. And I would even give them a call. You know, if it's a half hour, 45 minutes from you, give them a call. Ask them what kind of stuff they have left. Is it worth making the trip? But when I went, they had a really decent amount of stuff. I mean, I could have spent so much. They had home decor, purses, shoes, jewelry, clothes. I mean, they literally had everything there. I haven't been to a Kmart in so long. But I'm really glad I went because, I mean, I got all these foundations for 8 bucks, these concealers for like 5 or 6 bucks. That's a really good deal, in my opinion. I feel like that's what the drugstore prices used to be. Um... But anyway, if you have any questions or comments, please let me know in the comment section below. And I hope you guys have a beautiful day, a beautiful week, and a beautiful life. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.